In the last video, we looked at how we configure Windows Labs, also known as Cloud Labs, for Azure Active Directory devices. We did that through the Intune console and we configured a profile and sent it to my device. In this video, we're going to look at what happens when that comes down to the endpoint. So let's just check to see if we have a password set in Intune. So from the Intune Admin Center, head to Devices, Windows, and then tap in the name of your client. In my case, it's Client 4. On the left hand side, scroll down to Local Admin Password, and you should see Show Local Admin Password. And see when the password was last rotated and the next scheduled password rotation. We'll choose Show Local Admin Password, and you see the security ID of the admin user. We also see the account name of the admin user, and we can even show the password that is set currently. So I want to copy that to my clipboard, I can head over to my machine. And from here, I can run terminal, for example, as admin, by tapping in my local admin username, and the password. There it is right there. Choose Yes. And we have a terminal running as admin seems to work really well. If we head back to the admin center, we can also do some actions on this. So if I go to properties on this device, not properties overview on this device, we can also click these three dots, the ellipsis here and choose rotate local admin password. Choose that. And it says, if you rotate the local admin password, you will lose the old password on the device. A single password will be generated by the IDP after you restart the device. The password will expire automatically within the period specified in the policy. I'm going to choose yes. And then we're going to give this device a quick reboot. And it's back. So I'm just going to log in as the user. Now I still have this password in the clipboard. So let's see what has happened. And it, I have done this in real time. It was a, about five seconds of speeding that reboot up. But generally, I've not done anything else to speed this video up. So the time since I've chosen to rotate the password is pretty much in the amount of time it's just taking you to watch this. So let's just try that password again. Tap in my local admin username. And I've still got it in the clipboard right here. So I'm going to type clipboard text and choose yes. And that password is incorrect. So it's already done the resetting, which is fast. I didn't expect it to be quite that fast. So let's take a look at the uh, admin center again. Let's refresh this page. Still says rotate local admin password pending, but we know that it's changed. So I'm going to head down to local admin password. Shows the last rotation, which is 9.07 p.m., which for what it's worth is the correct time where I'm recording this video. And if I choose show, that is, it looks like a different password to the one I had, because the one I had is uh, the one I've just tapped into the URL at the top there. It starts with a comma. That one doesn't. So that's obviously changed, which is super, super fast. That's awesome. I'm going to head back to the computer and try the terminal again as admin. Try L admin and then tap the local, sorry, the, the clipboard text. Choose yes. Didn't work. Let me try. I wonder if it's because I did admin and not client for L admin. Let me try that. Okay, that worked. So clearly you need to put the computer name in as well as the username. I did for the first one when I tested it, but I got lazy on the second one. The password has changed. And that took, as you can see, a few seconds for uh, it to take place. Obviously the reboot was was required there as well, but the actual policy was pretty much instant, which I think is very, very good. See you next time.